Hi everyone, good evening, welcome to this video, this is Richie the Blind Hedgehog and as you can see I'm here with Knuckles and as you can see it's also a bit different because I'm no longer holding my camera so I would like to try it this way and see if it works out I'm here with Knuckles, he is actually the last plushie from the Sonic franchise that I could purchase uh, he's from Sega Price International so he have some, some nice information about him this is actually really cute on his tag and he uh, he kept this tag actually I did not remove it. So there you go. This is this little tag. And uh, I actually managed to find another cute plushie from this assortment, which just came today, and which is right here in this package. So I would like to open this up and show you. Just gonna put knuckles aside. <laughs> it's my shadow! I'm just going to remove that box. So I have some more space out here. So there you go. This is a um, Sega Prize International Shadow Plushie. I managed to get him off Amazon. Um, and I'm really happy about it because shadow plushies are in general hard to find here and pretty expensive for me to get. So, and I try to collect them. St uh, still, I, I really love this character, so that's why. Um, it's from Toy Universe. That's the name of the seller. <laughs> um, this is amazing. I'm really glad with him. So I'm going to pack him out and show you. Hope my camera won't tip over. Shadow. I'm gonna keep the bag. I use it for my own packages. So there it is. Isn't he cute? He's really soft. He also has the little details on him. Yeah, the tag, of course. Uh, that also says Sega Press International. I really like actually this picture they use on the on the tag. Uh, it is really pretty modern Sonic with uh, the little stars and the circle. This little circle of stars, I really like this picture. And in the inside, you have some information about the character. So this is this is actually really neat and well done. And this is something that apparently never changed in their uh, plushie assortments. Because I know this brand actually had other assortments of Sonic plush. And apparently they are also available in Europe. Uh, while some others are difficult to find in Europe. So I'm really glad actually I managed to uh, to have them now. His um, his eyeliners, if I can actually just remove the tag here, is a bit detached. So you have this little piece of felt coming off, and the red actually this is more like his eyebrow, and the red it comes over his eyes. So it's not really well done, I think, but it's really cute though. Here it's better. On this on this part, it's much better. On this on this part here. There is a bit of a problem, but it's all embroidered. Uh, so are the eyes as well, and his little nose, and his yellow muzzle, like usual. His ears, let's put them just like this. Very weird looking, and this is what the quills looks like. I'll actually move from the side. It looks like a black cactus. It's a really, really pretty blush and he's adorable. And super soft. And it's a little tail. Here's his tail. Super cute. Yeah. 
Now these guys have big tags and also big tush tags. These plushies are official, so they're not fake or something. Um, and they're pretty not, uh, well made. It's just that I noticed that in their assortments, these guys are actually a bit more cheaply made than the ones they used to bring out. Um, I think it's a bit too bad. Um, I managed actually to collect from this assortment, I managed to collect also Knuckles um, and if I can still hold them together also Sonic, which is a classic Sonic and a modern Knuckles and the common points on these plushies as you can see, their hands and shoes and it's actually uh, Shadow and Sonic, which are pretty comparable Shadow and Sonic both have pretty small hands and pretty small feet. In case of Sonic it's still pretty cute, but Shadow is actually known for having really big shoes. And here as you can see actually his, his hands and shoes are both actually pretty small. And I think actually there's not enough detail into the hands and into the shoes uh, compared with what they used to make. Because I don't know, I have plushies from this brand that are way better finished with way more details so I think those guys are a bit more cheaply made but they are really soft and really nice quality anyway so I really recommend them they're cute and, and well made um, his, his little scowl and his mad face, I know the tag is really annoying on this guy uh, it's on his ear but knuckles is on, on his little um so this is what their tush tag looks like. Hold on a sec. So you have Sonic the Hedgehog, the brand, the logo, shocking hazards, warnings. Uh, here you have the Arabian um, text, and mine also used to have a barcode here on my on my knuckles, but. But there you go. Uh, I would like to know actually from which year they were released, but I didn't find any of a year on their tags or tush tags. So I have no idea from actually which or year they are or when they were released. Um, there is this shadow, a modern shadow. I don't really know if there's a classic shadow. Here you have modern knuckles. And they made a classic Sonic. And they're super soft, actually. They're really cute. Just as Sonic has stuffed ears, as you can see. It's a bit of a different... Shadow doesn't have stuffed ears. He kind of looks a bit like my fake Shadow. In his face. In his face expression. Um, but what I actually show you, the plushies from this assortment, there's a difference. Um, because, for example, this is a modern Sonic from the same brand. And as you can see, I don't really like this material. It's less soft. But it's... And you see the details in the hands and in the shoes with cardboards, the size of it. Um, also, these plushies are a bit taller. They are 13 inches tall rather than 12 inches. So I don't really know why they uh, decided to make them smaller and, and with less detail. Because I think that this assortment is great, especially the shadow one. Also here, Knuckles, with this assortment. I don't really know, you might recognize these guys. They're awesome, um, and they're really, really nice plush to have. Um, they're soft, they're well finished, they have nice detail, with nice details. They have beans in their bunnies. Uh, they have cardboards in their shoes, and as you can see also the shoes are very well detailed here on, on Knuckles' shoes. Like for example, when you see on this Knuckles, uh, there's a bit of a difference. I'll show you the shoes. See the uh, here you have just this looks more like a Lego, a Lego brick. So that's actually what I can, what I can show you on these uh, these nice assortments because they're really nice, all of them. Uh, so I really recommend these Sega Press Internationals also because you, look how cute Knuckles is and 
his his full red fur or quills and uh, his cute little nose and smile he's really soft and he really has like um, shiny eyes yeah I know it's difficult to show sorry not used to this yet so um, and this is actually one that is a bit more detailed actually from the same brand so I have no idea um, I know I collected this card a few a few years back now uh, time sure goes fast but I like them all in fact they all have nice finishings and the shadow so these guys just like the Sonic they don't have beans in them um, yeah the tag sure is annoying these guys here used to have even more tags they had two or three tags on them now they just have one little cardboard tag they just yeah they they decided to to cut back on the quality i think or the finishings also here the fur on shadow's chest is just well it's not a It is not something that lays on just like on this guy. See here you have a firmly stuffed piece here. You have the same here with knuckles. He has also his little chest moon. It's a bit of a moon. I call it a moon. Um, also the rings here on the... on the feet and as you can see his shoes, his shoes are, are tiny um, compared actually what, what you can expect with shadow um, the back wheels I know it's pretty dark but it's pretty hard to see but this guy is really nice So I really recommend this guy, he's adorable. Um, he's about 12 inches tall. And actually I don't really know if I can show you uh, another shadow. Here's the one actually from the assortment I was talking about. So this is the guy. Uh, just like the um, more finished assortment actually from uh, so I want to have them next to each other I'm just going to show you that there we go so he's, they're both great looking just that they have different finishings and one of them is a bit less detailed um, and here as you can see the, the shoes are much larger And also the rings are actually pretty well made here. They are just full yellow rings over the hands. And as you can see, this plush is much more resembling. I have two of these. This is guy I, I got off Facebook. I went to pick him up. Um, also here is little chest fur is a bit different. It's a little piece that's made on. This is a bracelet my brother brought back from vacation. So he has a nice cowl. Ears. This is like really like a deluxe plush actually. This is amazing plush. Unfortunately, he doesn't have his um, his air jets and his quills actually um, stick about in a bit of a weird direction. They stick sideways instead of upwards, but it's still a really nice feature on this plush. This is the bigger shadow, and we actually put them together. This is what you have. That's amazing. I really like them both. So there you go. I think I showed you everything there was to show about this adorable plush. If you have any more information about where, um, when those plushies were released and uh, why Sekia Press Europe has such an 
very detailed assortment compared with this one that is a bit less detailed i have no idea actually um all i can tell you is that those plush are really great they are official and adorable super soft and they make real great playmates so i hope that's enough information for now like i said i really hope you enjoyed this video guys and i'll see you later thanks for watching bye